I decided to run my journal through my sewing machine and acceptance lesson while journaling, I broke the needle of my sewing machine in my journal. That's what you get when you... Hello my lovely butterfly, welcome to my studio, it's France, welcome to a new Journal on Monday video. Now before diving into things, I wanted to do something that I've been doing for like forever on my Facebook page with each a layer a day challenge and that is to give a couple of shout outs. And my first shout out goes to Heather from New Hampshire in the States. Um, Heather, you reached out to me with a heartfelt email about a COVID situation and I wanted to thank you for that personally. As much as we as creators try to reach out to you on a as personal level as possible here on YouTube, to have those kind of feedbacks come back to us is so rewarding and so mojo fueling for as much as we can consider that English. Um, so thank you, Heather. Thank you so much for your trust and for taking the time to reach out. My second shout out goes to Joy. Joy is one of my patrons and during the last hangout, um, I threw a couple of challenges at you, Joy. And Oh my word, you came out of the corner with a spread that was brilliant, tackling each and every one of those challenges. Um, I wanted to acknowledge you for that and thank you. Thank you for your trust and for sticking around and for being one of my patrons. I will never say it enough, but it does mean the world to me. Now, with no further ado, here is today's Journal on Monday video, which is week 214 and it's all about acceptance. Enjoy! I get to start a brand new Journal on Monday art journal today. I finished the previous one so I attached it to its cover and now it can go in my library with all the others and it's available just like a diary if I feel like going back to it. But for now, fresh new paper that I just binded and the fun thing about this binding is that I can open my journal on whatever page it is I want to work on and it will still lay flat on my table. I've selected a couple of things that I want to work with today. This first thing is Tangucho paper, I have some cambric, I have some canvas resist from Finovar, and of course I'm going to cut pieces of all of these so that I don't waste anything that I don't want to use on the spread today. I'm starting by spraying water on my table and then I'm adding some Lindy's. And as usual, all the products are listed in the description of this video. Now my red hot poker orange did not want to spray. It was clogged. I should clean it out, which is actually very easy to do. So let me know if you would like me to do a little video about that to unclog your spray inks. Nonetheless, I have my color ready to go, adding a little bit of pink, adding a tiny bit more water, just to make sure that everything is nicely ready to go. And now I can start colorizing the little thingy things that I took out to work with. I want to work with a lot of layering because that is how acceptance works for me. It's not something that comes all at once. It all starts with awareness that I need to accept something and once I'm at the stage of awareness I can actually start working on it. Now acceptance is not the same thing as just putting on a smile with just about everything that life throws at you and just roll with it. For me acceptance is more about an acknowledgement of the facts being again, aware of what is actually going on and then deciding what I can do about it, what I want to do about it and then actually doing something. Now, in the meantime, I just mopped up a little bit of that excess color directly in my journal, just so to have a soft something on the paper. I selected a couple of stamps that I wanted to use going over several of my paper artsy stamp sets. Now again, these are all listed in the description of this video. 
And I want to keep all that stamping on the left side for now. So we Western people will read from left to right. And that is also how we see a timeline. So that is also how the timeline of our journal is actually uh, built up. The left being the past, the right being the future. And I want whatever struggle it is with what I have to accept to be something of the past. So that is where I want to have the busiest side for this spread. I'm going in with archival ink. I wasn't exactly sure of what I wanted to do next. I had in mind to maybe add some more color directly on the paper so I needed an ink that would not react to anything. So I decided to go with sepia archival ink and cobalt archival ink. At the same time, working on acceptance is a never-ending story, so I am adding a little bit of stamping on the right too. Just as a reminder in the future that working on acceptance isn't supposed to be a fight. It can be something that is very soft, and that is why most of my layers here are, again, very soft. I also want the edges of my Tenguchu paper to be soft, so... Um, ripping them. This is very, very delicate paper. Um, and at the same time, that is what they used to use to make tea bags of, so it has some resistance to it. And because acceptance should not be an internal fight or struggle, I want to keep this as easy as possible on myself. So I'm just sticking down uh, the things with the easiest glue that I can think of. And in this case, it is just double-sided tape. This yummy thing is rusted Tenguchu paper. Again, let me know if you would like me to share how I make this. It's actually pretty simple, a bit messy, but pretty simple. And well, yeah, okay, I just, I already said yummy. I have to say it again. This is yumminess, <laughs> sheer yumminess. So I use it um, just little by little, and I keep all the little pieces that I have left over each and every time. And I'm going to use it in the exact same way as I did with the first piece of Tenguchou paper. The reason that I'm repeating the process, even with a slightly different uh, Tenguchou paper, is for me the sense that acceptance is something that we have to work on over and over again, because while life keeps throwing it at us, it is the hardest lesson to learn, um, and one of the most important ones to learn. So we have to keep going at it and keep coming back to it every time again in each and every different situation. And this to me is a beautiful reminder of that. I'm selecting the nicest piece of the cambric that I want to use for this one. Of course, I'm keeping the rest for another project. And one of the fun things about cambric is that you can distress it as hard as you want. It would always keep its shape. That's the big difference with cheesecloth. Although it has the same material in it, it has way more resistance to it. So I can really go in and distress it.
this is my piece of colorized canvas resist. Now, canvas resist does resist distressing, so you really have to be motivated to actually distress it, and you really have to go at it. How about letting go of some of that frustration when acceptance doesn't come as easy as you would like it to? And to add some more layering, I decided to add a tiny piece of vintage paper. I selected two of my sticker sheets. The first one is my colorful bubble and the second one is a very old 2020 a layer a day sticker sheet. And the reason that I selected those is well, just because they work together. It works with the background that I have going on. And I, I need a circle. I'm unhappy if I don't have a circle on my spread. So here comes the first circle and definitely not the last one. Even if it's mostly hidden, I know it's there. This one was slightly too big. I took a second to decide which end I wanted to rip off. So off we go. And then again, going for the easiest way to just stick this down, just a little bit of tacky glue does the trick. This is the December 2020 A Layer A Day sticker sheet. So for each month you get a full size sheet, which is half artwork and then half words that match the ongoing challenge of that month. I still had that word letting go on that sticker sheet, which I thought to be a perfect match for this acceptance spread. I decided to run my journal through my sewing machine and acceptance lesson while journaling <laughs> I broke the needle of my sewing machine in my journal. That's what you get when you use a lot of stucky stuff and you only use your sewing machine for mixed media sewing. But hey, I just accepted what was going on here. I had half a way back sewing on the spread and I was totally fine with it. Just attaching the extremities of the thread to make sure that it would stay in place. I did say it was the first circle. I needed a couple more. Um, yeah, circles are just a thing for me and I do love having them in my journal. So I decided to go in with crackle paste over my epicycle stencil, but I also thought it would be a good idea to just hold my stencil in place with 
one finger and then acceptance lesson number two this happened Well, when this happens, you just put your stencil back in place and you just keep on going as if nothing happened. <laughs> Because my stencil moved, I had to clean the back side a little bit because there was a crackle paste sticking underneath it. And although I can go with a little accident, I'm not going to make it messier than it needs to be. So yeah, accepting and at the same time seeing what I can do about the situation and what I want to do about the situation. I love that here the crackled paste is white on an almost white background. It makes for a very soft detail on the spread. And yeah, here I did hold my stencil with two fingers. <laughs> this good old IKEA plate was just what I needed to add my next circle on my spread. And now you might be thinking, another circle again? Yes, because that is what makes me happy and I accept it fully. So if this does not make your heart sing, add in your journal what makes you happy. Find out what that is, accept it and then just roll with it and keep on going with it until you've had enough of it. So I'm tracing it with an intense pencil. These are water soluble. And then I'm just blending it slightly with some water. I'm adding the same thing on the right, first of all, because it makes the spread work for me to have this left-right balance, but also as a reminder that this is something that I will have to do over and over again in the future, and I'm okay with it. At this point for me, I was done, so I added my date stamp, even if hidden, because I didn't want those black numbers to be a disturbance on the spread. But once I had added those, I thought it would be pretty cool to have those black numbers <laughs> as a disturbance on the spread. Like, acceptance is not always like a smooth and easy journey, so I decided to add a couple more. If all of this background information about knowing why I do what I do is something that appeals to you and you would like to know more of, please know that this is exactly what we talk about on my Patreon page. We have weekly hangouts, we have live feedbacks of your own spread that we discuss either in group or in one-on-one -on -one sessions. There's a whole bunch of features and the link to my Patreon page is in the description of this video.
Now, the biggest acceptance lesson of this spread came actually at the end when I was getting ready to take the pictures. As I started working in my journal and as it is laying flat on my table and as it is the first page, I actually worked upside down. So this page will actually be the last page of this brand new journal. Hey. <laughs> just letting it go. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope I'll see you back here next time. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down a layer a day in a mindful way. Butterfly kisses.